Hello guys, we're back for another video on the F122. We're going to be doing our My Team Career Mode. And we're going to be starting as a top team. See, we are third in the performance track right now. So right now we're going to be heading to Barroom, but we've got some stuff to do before we get there. As we see, we just got... Like, we're one of the breach of getting 10 million. So we might do some upgrades. If a fabrication upgrade would be good, and that should come on just after Bahrain. Yes, and then an upgrade came on. They'll be on the car ready for the next race week. Red Bull and Ferrari have made some more upgrades for this season. Our teammate is Nico Hulkenberg. So let's see how he will do this season. First race is Bahrain, and hopefully we can do well here. We have 3,000 resource points. We can do some upgrades. We could we could do a major front wing, and that will help us a lot in the aero. That will make us go up to third in the aero. And we could do. Let's do a chassis upgrade, a major chassis one, which will put us third in chassis. Now let's we'll head to the weekend. We are very ready for going for round one of season one here. We're only going to do short combat sessions to get the season nice and quick done. So let's head for our first flying man with this color. See how we're gonna do here. We've got great top speed. Prioritise top speed going into this race. Have a nice turn one. Good exit. So Boom, so second DR rest the break. Oh a little walk up there. A little wide. Oh, uh, here we don't want to touch the curb too much. As we touch the curb and we have spun out on our practice lap. That is not good. We're going to have to go again if we want to set up set a banker lap here. Now we've around the final corner. We're going to be starting our flat last lap in full time. We need to get out of this P11 here. We are up by five tenths right now. We have done really well on this lap so far. Let's see what we can do going into the final sector. Now the final corner where we can go. And we got P2. P2 in our first qualifying session. That is good for us. So if we can capitalize on that. And we're with qualifying uh, complete, let's review our top P10. three today. Leclerc, the owner driver, and Sergio pace. Perez. But well, that we wraps done up qualifying, well, but don't though. worry, we'll be back tomorrow as we head we're into the Grand Prix. We're only 18,000 off Leclerc. Let's see if, what we can do in the race. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. We'll be racing around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain International Circuit today. Keep an eye out for drivers locking the front left down into the tricky braking zone of turn 10. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and the owner driver alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Perez, Russell and Sir Lewis Hamilton and Sainz. Fernando Alonso, Verstappen, Norris and Nico Hülkenberg. Magnussen, Bottas, Esteban Ocon and Sonoda. Mick Schumacher, Joe, Pierre Gasly, 
and Sebastian Vettel. Stroll, Albon, Ricardo. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. A new season, then a clean... And there we go. As we saw, Daniel Ricciardo had a grid penalty. We are going to be starting on the soft and we're going to be heading on to the medium for this race. And we're going to be taking out some fuel. So this will be good. So let's see how we can do around Barry. Before they the way, every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead. Making sure that their car is ready for the battle once the lights go out. As we can see, everyone is on the softs, except for Daniel Ricciardo, who is on the mediums. But he's going to have to try something if he wants to make that those positions. We're almost ready to start the race as the cars take their positions on the grid, with the drivers and teams making their final preparations. We are going to be stopping on lap 6 to see if we can try and do something and get the lead of this race. Hopefully we can, but this will be difficult to keep up with the fast Ferraris. Right, let's see how we will go as the final cars are lighting up on the grid now.
action boxing. Yeah, I did go green in sector one, which means I am doing better than all my previous lap right now. Okay, what are you just hit the box now. Push. Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. And we're gonna need box in this lap. We'll see how our piss off is gonna go. Hopefully we have a good one here. And it's for Stafford's in as well. We have a pretty good entrance. Tam comes up right behind us. Perfect job from me. Yeah, that was not the best bit of there. Now we're, we will have cool tyres. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. Latifi comes out just ahead of us. We lose about a second in the pits for the max. That's a try. Warm our tires up on the flat. We're gonna we're gonna be going white because this will be difficult to keep control of the car. As we're going right in the middle of it. I thought it was, but it must have been able to take someone else, which is Ricardo, which I'm going to have to try and catch now. And the cat behind us is five. And the vehicle comes out just behind us. the difference out there today. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again.
with today's impressive result, Charles Leclerc steps into the championship lead. So then, it's so time to see how this go. result affects the drivers' that championship. Was not the best Let's race focus on the driver of the yeah. day. Anthony Davidson, the media the I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy the spot on and but consistently had the pace to come through see. as well. Let's move on to the constructors. Ferrari take the lead at the top of the table.